Now that we have our uh, uh, rubberized ring, um, stick it back on the, the can and uh, take a, a file. I've got this little leatherman that's got a rough edge. And uh, what you want to do is if you look at the Zakuta zip gear over here, let's just get that. is um, kind of see how wide it is. Uh, what you want to do is with your file just make a roughened edge on the rubber to help the Zakuta gear bond. So doesn't need to look good but as long as it's roughly the same width or smaller than the width of the, uh, the zip gear you should be fine. Just get rid of any excess uh, dust. So it should look like that by the time you're done with it. There you go. Okay, so now that we've prepared our uh, our rubberized ring, uh, time to put it on the lens. Now this ring is just big enough that it that it that it will. If I stretch it, it'll stretch over onto the lens. But ideally, you want it to be small enough that it doesn't actually fit. Uh, so what you need to do then is get yourself um, a boiling pot of water, drop the the piece of rubber in the water and uh, let it boil for about two minutes. This will relax the, the rubber and it'll become more elastic. Pull it out the boiling water, dry it off and pull it over and once the rubber cools it'll contract onto the lens making a very solid bond. Um, for this uh, particular lens I don't need to do that. I'm just going to simply very gently stretch it over onto the lens piece by piece. I like to uh, position the uh, piece of rubber so that it's um, perfectly in the middle of where the uh, focusing ring is. Uh, right now you'll see it moves up and down but once you put the uh, focus gear around it, it seems to uh, lose its um, elasticity which is really great. Once you have put the rubberized ring on the lens uh, you can replace the lens cap. Uh, you now take your zip gear and from one side of the lens basically measure how much of the zip gear you need. Doing as straight a line as possible and keeping it as as tense as possible, run it all the way around to measure how many zip gears you need. Now um, I recommend cutting it so that you're about half a gear short. Um, what this will help you to do is this will, when you apply the, the gear on, you will um, have to stretch it which will even put the rubber ring even tighter so as far as I can see I've got that little gear over there that I need to cut so I like to cut it on a on a plate once again with the exact knife being very careful not to slice your finger off. Get the edges as flush as you can so that you won't have any joining problems. Now I'm going to measure them again. And as you can see, if I run them all the way around, they're almost 
not touching, which is exactly how, how I want them. Okay. Uh, now, once you've done that, uh, you want to roughen up the base. Since this is like a shiny plastic base, you want to make it a bit more... Uh, bit more rough so that when you glue it it has a really good grip and won't come loose. Take your file and uh, file the bottom of the uh, gear. And that ought to do it. Once you've roughened up the ring um, and roughened up the base of your zip gear, uh, you want to do a couple practice runs of placing the gear around in a straight line before you actually do it with glue. Now, as you can see, we have that tiny little gap. Now, when you actually do glue it, you take um, a piece of the gear that you cut off from earlier and place it upside down to hold the glue in place uh, this will give you a good point of uh, you know a, a good way to keep the gears together while you're gluing them once you're all prepared and you've had a couple practice runs it's time to actually put the glue onto the zip gear and then paste the zip gear onto the lens. So the way I, here's that uh, little crazy glue. Um, what's really nice about this one, it comes with a little applicator. Uh, I, I, I believe in doing things so that they last a long time, so I, I tend to use a fair bit of glue. Uh, the instructions on this say that you should uh, glue it and apply pressure for about four minutes and then let it cure for 24 hours so here we go I start from the tip and I tend to apply a lot of glue where the ends are now with one clean motion Applying a firm pressure in as straight a line as you can do. Attach that lens gear. And then take your reverse gear and now apply a pressure all the way around for approximately four minutes so about four minutes have gone by as you can see I uh, have had the leftover gear reversed on this end I think it's about time that we can uh, remove it uh, well, as you can see there's a little bit of white from the glue, but uh, that'll go away. As you can see, we have now a lens gear attached onto the uh, front of this lens. Uh, 